You know what you did, right? Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll make sure. In May 2016, 20 year old Michael Sanford's parents reported that he had gone missing in America. 23 days later, he turned up at a Donald Trump campaign rally in Las Vegas. I will build a great, great wall. Shortly after Trump took to the stage, Michael approached a police officer. Seconds later, he attempted to grab the officer's gun. Are you serious, man? What are you thinking? Uh, we love our police. When questioned by the Secret Service, Michael stated he'd wanted to shoot and kill Trump saying he was a racist that deserved to die. But how did a young British man from Surrey end up trying to assassinate the most controversial and high-profile man in the world? Donald J. Trump. We've always just been a very, very close family unit. He thought Donald Trump was the worst thing for the world. This is not a hardened criminal. This is just a young kid who found himself in an awful situation. He tried to assassinate him. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Michael is due to be sentenced and could face decades in prison. Michael Sanford could have altered the course of American history. But were these the actions of a boy with a history of mental health problems? He seemed just a totally different personality from the boy I'd known. You know, he's going to spend his 21st birthday in prison. Someone who really shouldn't be there. Or was it? a premeditated attack. When Michael was shooting, he was doing this. Who's he working for? Maybe he got radicalized. There's nothing I can tell him that will make his situation any better. And I just want my son back. I'm telling you that if violence is wrong, I disagree with that. When Michael was 13, he was diagnosed with Asperger's, a condition associated with difficulties in social interaction. At secondary school, he was bullied. He deliberately tried to run out in front of cars sometimes, so that in the hope he would get knocked over to avoid going to school. I very much feel the system failed Michael. Aged 18, Michael told his parents he was planning to move to America to be with a girlfriend he'd met online. Michael's family used inheritance money to pay for a year's rent on a flat in Hoboken overlooking New York. He was the most polite person that I'd ever met. Michael never mentioned any girl to me or friends or anybody. As a matter of fact, I think I recall him saying he knew nobody here. If Michael moved to Hoboken for other reasons, I, I don't know. It does make you start to wonder. Why do you think he did it? The only thing I can possibly think of is he's been coerced, groomed, whatever word you'd like to use. This bit is pretty sad um, and wondering what the world is coming to. They say the world will end when the sun blows up in five billion years, but I believe humans will destroy it long before then. That was something he was very worried about. He was very worried about mankind. When we get 37 states. I guess that's been mirrored by what he said about Donald Trump. He thought Donald Trump was the worst thing for the world. <laughs> 